All right, everybody, in case you haven't heard, Hayden's released New Beginnings 2. No, 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 not New Beginnings version 2. New Beginnings 2, as in the sequel to New Beginnings, which is really stinking cool. And I, I thought, you know what? Let's take a look at it. Uh, I want to kind of showcase what it's doing and, and what it's got in it. He did say a while back that he was wanting to create uh, a new version of New Beginnings that held more true to what he wanted the first one to be because the first one got a little bit convoluted and cluttered. And and I 100% I agree with that assessment. But he also wanted to do it in a newer version of Minecraft. So this is a 1.16.3 mod pack which is really stinking cool. So uh, let's go around, take a look at it. Uh, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the mod pack. We're gonna do this in no particular order, um, unless you consider alphabetical a particular order. Um, and also this is not a complete list, just to, just, to, just to clarify. This is not a complete list. This is, this is just highlights. I'm sparing you, you know, some things, especially like there's internal like, uh, you know, structural mod pack things that aren't really things you experience. So one of the things is the advanced mining dimension. So you craft this with alternating um, wood and planks around a pickaxe, and then you can use it to travel into a mining dimension, dimension, which is nothing but caves. So you can leave your underground intact and just go mining in a whole nother area, which is pretty cool. Next up is aquaculture two. Now, there were fish in here and they've gone away, but essentially <laughs> Aquaculture 2, as you would expect by the name, adds, oh, that's junk that I threw down there, ignore that, adds, adds more fishies. Uh, so like this is, yeah, there we go. This is a, this is a perch added by Aquaculture. That's pretty cool that I found a perch. That's what I used to go fishing for uh, in my grandparents' lake. Um, and it, it adds a number of other things as well, but uh, you know, just stuff having to do with water. Then, of course, the most necessary mod of all mod packs, Biomes Aplenty. If you don't know what that is, I don't know how you found this video. Uh, then we've got crafting tweaks, which uh, just add some fancy things over here to the crafting uh, grid. Uh, then we've got dungeon crawl. This is what I'm most excited to show you. So dungeon crawl that way. No more that way. Okay. Uh, so I was, when this was released, this mod pack was released while I was streaming a different game. And I was like, well, uh, we're gonna go experiment with New Beginnings 2. I wanna see what's in it. And um, I I stumbled upon one of these. This is a dungeon crawl dungeon. Um, we're going to stay in creative mode as we go down here, but I do want you to see this because it is really stinking cool and terrifying. Oh, look, there's a cake. I'm afraid that cake is a lie. Oh, there's a, oh, I didn't see this before. Oh, that's so cool. There's a little, oh, do I still have stuff in my inventory? Oh, I do still have stuff in my inventory. Okay, let's dump that stuff. That's for me setting up for this video. <laughs> that's neat. This is like a little, like a little set your spawn, have some cake and proceed into the dungeon. Um. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's a spawn room. So there's spawn rooms a lot with lots of oh man, they all spawn with shields and and whatnot. And let's put these in there. There we go. Now we got a nice clean inventory. Basically, this is a winding dungeon of epic proportion. And uh, I'll say this: there is a quote unquote final room that you're looking for uh, that I found while looking on the stream. And uh, you want to find that room because it has insane treasure. Just really cool stuff. Lots of very creative rooms too. Um, so this is a neat little spawn room with a little bridge area. There's often traps in these halls. And it, and it goes down and down and down and down and down. Until it reaches... I don't even know if I want to tell you. I don't know if I want to tell you what's at the bottom. If you don't want to know what's at the bottom, stop listening for like five seconds, okay? Just turn me down. Go ahead, I'll give you a second. Turn me down. 
Okay, you should you should not be hearing me now. Um, yeah, there's like a nether area at the bottom. It's really stinking cool, and it's terrifying. Okay, I'm going to assume that the people have turned their mics back up, or turned their speakers back up, turned my mic back up. And we'll continue on with our tour up here on our little Savannah Plateau Island of sorts. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's Dungeon Crawl. That that may be my favorite Minecraft mod I've seen in a while. Like, it, it was so cool, it would totally be worth doing, especially with a group of friends. Uh, then we have Falling Tree and L Fast Leaf Decay, which you... Whoops. Oh, I just broke it. My bad. Um, which essentially... Uh, oh, it also would help if I did this in survival. Good job, Kyle. There we go. There you go. That's what, that's what fast falling and leaf decay is. quick oh and if the saplings sit on top of the tr i don't know what mob pat mod this is from but if the saplings sit on the ground for a little while they'll plant and regrow a tree goblin trader has made his return oh, i guess i can't do this in creative can i that's a shame i guess i'll just have to go back to survival that's okay yeah goblin trader is back and if you ignore him he'll smack you come on you can do it smack me Nope. Okay. Anyway, he's got stuff you can trade for, which is pretty cool. Piercing luck of the sea. Ooh. Bottles of enchant. Oh, ow! Loser. Uh, then we have the gravestone mod. So when you die, you'll get a death note, which will tell you where you died. It'll tell you all your inventory that you had and stuff like that. Uh, you can use that to find your last death, but it also appears, obviously, as a heads-up display thing. Uh, you... Dig it out, and it gives you what you had when you died. Which, I don't want two of those things. We'll get to this blueprint later. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, oh, just enough items. Which is this whole thing over here. It allows you to search for stuff. One of my big tips for this is if you do the at sign and then start typing in a mod, it will show you the stuff from that mod. So at symbol and then start typing in the name of the mod. It'll show you everything from that mod. Uh, while we're here and I'm looking at aquaculture, you really want to get you, uh, you first of all, you want to you make, because of aquaculture, you really want to make a um, an AFK fish farm. And you really want to use it specifically until you get a Neptunium hoe because Neptunium hoes can plant, can till soil and keep it tilled and grow plants without being near water, which is really cool which I'm showing off over there as well. Uh, light overlay, which defaults to F7. What this does is it shows you where enemies can spawn. So if you're building, you can see red X's, enemies will spawn. Yellow X's, no spawn. I want this in vanilla badly. Then we've got Macaw's um, stuff. I just called it Macaw's stuff because it's like Macaw's doors, Macaw's bridges, stuff like that. Really, really cool. I love the doors. One thing I love about the doors is like, it's a, it, this is a dark oak door, but with an acacia look. This is a jungle door with an oak look. Yeah, oak beach door is what it's called. Bro, leave me alone. Uh, then we have McRae's furniture mod, which kind of goes along with Macaws. Uh, we have chairs and counters and cabinets and stuff like that. Then we have mystical agriculture. Unfortunately, these haven't grown yet. I should have used like the, ow, stop it, stop it. Ow! Stop! You know what? Oh, I'm not in creative, am I? Okay, we're just gonna beat you up like this. Thing. <laughs> there. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, these are growing diamonds, by the way. These are growing, uh, diamond seeds, or diamond essence, sorry. These were planted with diamond seeds. Um, and they, they grow diamond essence, which can be turned into diamonds. And there's a whole lot more to this. I'm just scratching the surface. This is a really big mod pack. I couldn't pot, or mod, I couldn't possibly cover half of it. Um, Nature's Aura. Uh, Nature's Aura is, is a really cool mod. You see these, these leaves are, like, glowing and... 
and goldish. Um, and then there's little altars and things. This this mod has a book that you can use with it. Um, it is called. Where is that book? Um, let's. Ah, where's the book? Oh no. It either looks different. I don't see it. Anyways, there's supposed to be a book with it. I'm not, I'm not seeing. Book of, oh, the, the graphic is in there for it. But you make it like this. It's missing, a, it's missing an icon. Uh, but anyways, that's, that's what you use to make it. And then it gives you instructions on nature's aura. It's mostly well written. Mostly. Uh, nature's compass. This is cool. All right. Um, you, uh, how do you make nature's compass? This is, this is how, by the way, this is how you use JEI in case you're new to, uh, this mod. Uh, you're probably not, but, uh, you can click here and see how you make things. Okay. You take a compass and you surround it by saplings and logs. Got it. So what this does is you right click with it oop, and you choose the biome you want to find. So let's say I want to find, Ooh, a cold desert. I've never heard of that. So we're going to double click it and it begins the search and it finds it. At, and you see it up the coordinates up in the top left there negative 2244 and 1296 that is really cool uh next up we have these white blocks i wonder what they're for let's press spacebar to find out this is open blocks elevator so you use spacebar to go up until you've reached the top and then you press shift to go down and then we go down one more look at that aha there we find refined storage underground because of course we store things underground uh, refined storage is basically what it sounds like. It's really advanced storage. I don't really know it, um, but I've seen it used and it's really cool. Uh, next up on the list is silent gears. Oh, that's where the blueprint comes in handy. So when you start this mod pack, you'll get a blueprint. You right click with it and you get a blueprint that allows you to make a tool rod, a pickaxe, a, a sword, an ax, uh, some type of weapon. I'm pretty sure the weapon is randomized and a shield. You use these in conjunction with the building blocks to make the items. I'd suggest you look up a tutorial specifically on Silent Gear uh, just to make sure you see how to do it. But the blueprints, they're, they're pretty cool. I like them. Then we have Silence Mechanisms, which adds a whole bunch of new ores to the game. Um, and then you have smelters and coal generators and stuff like that to uh, smelt down the ore into other things. Uh, here we have simple farming. I love this mod pack. It adds tons of new uh, new food to grow. Uh, so we've got rice, we've got tomatoes, we got uh, peppers. This is supposed to be grapes. I don't remember if I did this right. It's been a while since I planted grapes. You have to use like fences and it grows the vines and I, I don't know. It's just not working right now for me, but you, you, it's something like that. Uh, then we have simply backpacks. Now this is a new backpack mod. This is not the one that was used in New Beginnings 1. Um, it, this one has, I think it was four different backpacks. Let's see. Yeah, there's common, uncommon, rare, and epic. And this is the epic I've got here. So you carry around a backpack. So let's go ahead and put our blueprints in there to store them. Always a smart idea to carry them around with you, but you don't necessarily want them in your inventory. So we'll just put them in our backpack. Uh, then we have solar generation. I don't know anything about this mod pack or this mod but I'm assuming it provides power to things by a sunlight. One would assume. This is what I've been so excited to show you. I haven't done this yet to see it firsthand, and I'm very excited. Straw Golem Reborn. You ready? You ready? Boop. Boop. Oh, no. Is that not right? Oh, no. I watched the video on this. If I can type right. Was it a pumpkin? Oh no. Okay, it is carved pumpkin. I don't... Did I have the wrong kind of hay bale? There's hay bale. Yeah, it's supposed to be hay bale and carved pumpkin. Do I shift? No. Uh, yeah, so that's supposed to spawn a little dude that will go around and harvest crops and put them in nearby chests. And he's adorable. And I'm really sad that it's not working. 
that's a bummer. Also, I'm really sad that I made it this whole time without having to do any edits, and now I have to put in an edit. Um, <laughs> now we have the Bumble Zone. Oh, dadgummit, I was in creative. Um, which I need to be for going here. If you don't know about the Bumble Zone, this is pretty stinking cool. Uh, how you get there is you find a, a beehive, and you toss an enderpearl at it, and you go to the bee zone, which has some really cool blocks. You gotta be careful though, because the bees will come attack you. Now, how you get out of the bee zone is, oh yeah, yeah, there's little honey guys too. Look at this. Uh, it's very noisy here. My apologies. Uh, where did I spawn? Where was that? Oh, there we go. I've already dug out an exit. Basically, you have to go all the way up or all the way down. Oh, that was some sort of liquid. That was weird. Oh, this liquid, what is that? Okay, let's block that off. Can I block that off? That's weird. Whoa. I don't understand why that... Okay, that was weird. Um, anyway. <laughs> the really cool blocks here. My Oh, here's another set of it. That's interesting. I don't know what that is. What is this? What is this? Oh, oil? There's oil? I had no idea. Uh, the coolest blocks in this zone are up here at the top. Oh, no, that's not what I was looking for. There's, um, oh, no, these are, oh, these are beeswax planks. There's also hive planks that are this really pretty goldish orange color. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. You get the idea. You fly all the way up to the top and you respawn in the overworld near or to the closest beehive to wherever you exited. Um. So next up is Valhelsia uh, structures. Uh, this not only adds some blocks like these. These are little post things. They're pretty cool. Um, yeah, they can go sideways. That's cool. Uh, oh, it looks like it's floating. That's interesting. Uh, it also adds structures out into the world as well, but I'll leave those for you to find. Oh, then ho ho ho. Then we have vanilla hammers. Which is really cool. Oh, it's a nice way to mine quickly. There's a little three by three grid. There we go. Um, and nearing the end, nearing the end. Oh, let's go back to survival for this. Uh, oh, waddles. Oh, this is a very, very, very important one. Let's go back to creative so we can spawn in a bunch of them. You ready? Penguins, everybody. Penguins. They're adorable. They're also really loud. <laughs> then we have waystones. Uh, I'll let you look this up. I don't know the first thing about it, but basically you can set these up as like teleport points. Pretty cool. And then last but not least is Zeros. Zeros world map. There's a lot of options for the controls in this. In the in the okay, let's go here. Go away from the penguins. I've spawned too many of them. What have I done? We'll go hang out on the tree. Uh, yeah, so the two the two main shortcuts you'll want to know at first are Z will expand this, which I like this map. Uh, a lot of people prefer Journey Map, which was on New Beginnings 1. Um, I find this one rather enjoyable. Uh, Journey Map, I think, is better, but it's not available for this version of uh, Minecraft. But it's okay. I like this one just fine. Uh, so Z to expand, or rather to zoom on the map, and then U will open up your waypoint menu for you to teleport and things like that. So uh, that'll do it for our little look through of New Beginnings 2. My, my thoughts on it are this. When I first loaded it up, it filled me with the exact same joy that New Beginnings 1 did when I first loaded it up. And it, even more so because I've kind of missed that feeling. New Beginnings 2, like I said earlier, I agree with, with Hayden, uh, that it, it got a little cluttered. It got a little too many mods. And this one, he, he said previously that he was going to keep it simple. Uh, and I hope he does. And uh, yeah, so I would I would highly recommend if you if you don't have tons of time in New Beginnings 1, 
I think it's absolutely worth switching to New Beginnings 2. If you haven't played New Beginnings 1, especially if you're new to mod packs, this was my introduction to mod packs and I think it was perfect for me. It was just over my head, the right amount, and uh, yeah, and it's and it's also cool for this one because it's in 1.16, which is uh, oh look at all those wolves that's crazy, uh, which is which is nuts that we have a, such a feature rich mod pack in 1.16. So that'll do it for this look through. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the mod pack. Uh, I'll put a I'll put a link in the description to the New Beginnings Discord, where there are a lot smarter people than me that know a lot more things that can point you in the right direction or help you out if you have any questions so thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next time adios goodbye